A question was posed recently at a Mac Group Detroit meeting on how to format an external drive for use as a backup startup drive. So let's walk through those steps using Disk Utility in El Capitan. First, you want to make sure that you purchase a drive that's useful. The drive should be at least equal to, but preferably greater in capacity than the internal drive you want to back up. So if you have a 500 gigabyte drive in your computer, you at least want to have an equal or a larger drive as the external. So once you get it, you want to plug it into the USB ports and it will show up on your desktop. It will usually show up as an untitled drive like you see over here on the right hand side. Then you want to open up Disk Utility. There are two ways to get to Disk Utility. It's uh, pretty easy to get to Disk Utility using Spotlight. So I'm going to click on the Spotlight icon or I could have pressed Command Spacebar and if I just type in Disk Utility it will bring up the top hit which is usually the application and I can press return to launch the application. To show you where uh, Disk Utility is located I'm going to hold down the command key and at the bottom and the path here it indicates that Disk Utility is located in my hard drive in the applications folder in a utilities folder and there is the application disk utility. So now I can just press return and it's going to load disk utility for me. Over on the left hand side, the left column is where you're going to see the drives located. Now I have a few drives here uh, connected to my computer that are um, unmounted so that's why you see um, these other drives here. But the drive that I'm looking for is this one. And once I click on the drive, I'll get several options. But first of all, let me mention, you see that the drive name is here. Underneath it, indented, you'll see, uh, you might see untitled. What this is showing you is that this is the present partition that's um, formatted in the drive. There's only one partition in this drive. You can have as many as you want to divide the um, drive into, but that's what it's indicating, the, part the partitions. So this is the external drive, and what I would like to do is now format it. I purchased this drive. It's actually initially formatted for Microsoft uh, Windows use, but you can take those drives and format them for Mac use as well. So what I want to do is first click on the erase button at the top center of the screen. And this drop down sheet will ask you, what do you want to name this drive? So I'm going to rename this drive backup. And I have to format the drive. You have several options in the menu here. You have OS X extended, journaled, and you have several others. The one that I want to pick is the OS X extended journaled and you also have to select a scheme. You have several choices GUID, partition map, master boot record, and Apple partition map. The one that you need to select is GUID partition map. This is the one that will allow you to create uh, um, that will allow you to format the drive so that it can be a startup drive. Once I have these three items in place I click erase it's going to start formatting the drive. It usually takes um, less than a minute if there's uh, not much on it. I'm going to click on the show details which is already past that but it basically tells you what it's doing. So now it's done. It has been formatted. I'm going to choose done. So if I look back over in the left hand column it's still giving me the name of the hard drive but now the um, partition I've titled backup and looking over on the right hand side of my screen the name of the drive is listed as backup. So at this point I can now use software like uh, Super Duper or Carbon Copy Cloner to completely duplicate and copy my internal drive over to this backup and I can then use this backup as a startup drive when I need to. So for example if my computer um,
cross your fingers, uh, wouldn't start up one day or failed, I have my backup that has all of my data information on it and I'm able to start up from that backup because I use the appropriate software. So I hope this was helpful. This is Sheeta Hunter. Until next time.